a shocking scene. A massive amount of guns, rifles, and ammunition laid out in front of that home. Yeah, shocking to say the least. Now we are learning more about that huge collection and the man who's now out of custody. CBS 2's Kara Finstrom is live outside the mansion in Homey Hills. And Kara, is there any sign of the suspect right now? DeMarco, we have not seen him here yet, but just behind us, that is the home, the mansion where that massive raid took place. We know he was being held on $50,000 bail and that he posted bond shortly after 9 this morning. Let's get right to a video image of 57-year-old Gerard Damien Sands. This was captured as he was arrested yesterday. Sands is suspected of manufacturing, possessing, and selling assault weapons and certain rifles. We also have video to show you of the massive stockpile of more than one thousand guns that were recovered. LAPD detectives and ATF agents pulled them out of the Holmby Hills mansion saying it was one of the largest weapon caches they've seen, but they also stress that the sheer number of weapons found isn't illegal. An LAPD lieutenant said the tip that triggered the raid and the crimes they're now investigating involve the personal manufacture and sell of weapons without alerting government entities or securing the needed forms or licenses. Now neighbors want to know more about the alleged buyers. If they're not being sold through a, a licensed store, then you don't know who's getting them and where they're going. And we're giving you another look at the gates of the home just for context here. We're not far from the Playboy Mansion, and a couple doors down is a home that is on the market right now for over $6 million. Now, uh, DeMarco and Suzanne, we can also tell you that Sands has been arrested before back in 2017, but he was quickly released at that point for a lack of evidence, and those charges uh, involved uh, intimidation.